Yo, what's going on guys? So I'm back out with another video. Uh, this is my first video on Valorant. Uh, this is the new popular game that's going around. Uh, I've been playing this for a little bit. Maybe for about two weeks. Probably close to like 200 hours or 100 hours, something like that. Uh, been mainly playing Cypher and Phoenix. And I want to drop some cool camera tricks you can do with Cypher that will help your team out in the long run. Um, so if you're defending, you're going to start back here on this side and then on the opposite side you'll be attacking. Where I usually play and where you should play on Haven and you want to play on a CD spawn usually. So what you usually do is the basic setup is you'll place a tripwire on this wall right here and on that box right there and what you usually do is they're like a little trap when I have extra money right there. So either way they come in, uh, they'll either come in long, usually they'll push garage and move in. Um, but um, the only sucky part is, is when placing low, they get uh, raised as so like a bomb buddy. It's like a little drone. They can just go through and uh, trip this up and you won't get a catcher enemy. But if you do catch your en uh, enemy in this, then it's free kill. Regardless of the situation, uh, you usually have somebody playing with my teammates on window, and what they do is they'll sit back here, wait for the tripwire to trip, and then pop two caps on him. He's dead. Uh, if they usually they'll figure out the routine of the tripwire, so I'll either move it up closer or scoot it back, place it on this doorway. Um, most of the time, though, sometimes I will shoot it out. Thing is safe. Pop the trap in here. That's when I make them slow. I'll let my teammate know. Again, it's a free kill. Um, all the other spots, if you were to do like setup on my B, I'll just place one right here. And usually they'll flank from A spawn. And I'll play out here, help out on this play out off this wall or right hand peak on this wall right here. And then A spawn, obviously, you want to play. The two entryways, so uh, short, long, I push traps, pushing in. Cage triggered. Cage triggered. Now, the most important part about Cypher, regardless of what site or what map you're playing on, is going to be his camera. Alright, so we're back at C spawn. Um, the most important part about Cypher is his camera placement, though. That's probably his most important ability, and it's free. So, um, you use it to its fullest potential so it's probably not the best but there's people that place it up here um i don't i don't like doing that i like to play a little bit more aggressive than the whole side down because you never know if you're going to be alive or not and usually the, the game is one or the round is one within like the first 30 seconds depending on if their team gets a pig or two pigs or whatever so what i usually do first setup i do is i go straight down the center and it's a pistol round obviously so they're going to see this camera they're going to shoot it out while they're shooting it out i usually bait the camera and take a couple shots on this corner right here um if i'm not feeling confident that day in my shot then i'll just play back here just let my teammates know yo they're going to push c uh, so on and so forth so after that camera spawn uh spot they're gonna figure that out need to place on this corner and what this does is it's kind of hard to see you can move it like more at a harder angle to hit like right here and you can see inside cubby but you can't see down uh down long so i try to do both best worlds i think it's in between that bar right there so you place it on the top of the bar you'll see down this little sliver right here and you'll be able to see if anybody's peeking on this side uh, I need to tell anybody that crosses. Um, usually, you just want to play off the wall right here. Uh, right here. It, this really depends on personal preference. Um, I don't usually place a camera in the garage. I don't see there's no reason to. Um, and you you should be mainly playing C. You can lock down as Cypher on Haven on C. I use like I said, I keep a, a teammate in the garage. Just get those picks right there. That's free. But other than that, uh, moving on to attack the side. 
All right, so when we're on the attacking side, uh, I usually place the tripwires on A spawn and on C spawn. So if they push through C, they're gonna get tripwired and let my teammates know. If they push through A, then they're gonna know. Or if we're pushing A, it's kind of good because it, we can rotate, push tripwire, and if somebody comes on our flank, we're gonna know because we're gonna tripwire right here. Um, other than that, if you're playing aggressive with Cypher and you don't want to like wash your flanks, and it's kind of like a risky play, kind of, but it's like you don't know if you're going to survive or not, if you're going for picks. But if all five of you guys push down, C, and then you do your normal setup on Garage and CT. So all you have to work, like, really worry about is at the moment, long. You can have somebody playing right here, watching Garage or whatever. This right here playing CT, but you don't. Even, you can play it safe. Um, you can have one person sit right here the whole time, and all you have to worry about is Garage at the moment. Unless you have a Sage, you can. If you have a, uh, a Sage, you can wall this off, and then you for sure know where they're gonna come from. Come from CT or Garage, and it has tripwires. So um, that's all personal preference on that. But. Uh, when if you're pushing through C, I usually bay out the camera, and they usually play on this corner right there. Um, and if they're playing like the left corner, I'll have somebody usually peek for me. Place the camera right there, and then you will see on this side right here. Usually they'll take it out if that gives you information that they're right there, anyways. So. This game's all about information. Um, that's that's my main cameras for and tripwires for C. For pushing through B, um, I usually go through garage personally, and I'll do the same set. I'll throw one right here for a tripwire, and then one right like right here. So that way I know that they're, if they're coming around the flank, then they're going to get tripped up. But usually they come from A shore anyways, on this corner, or they come from window. But for safekeeping, uh, there's no camera spots for B that I can think of that's like, like reasonable and will provide you like any like helpful advantage. But this next spot is probably like pretty good for pre-round. Usually the, I wonder if I can show you this, uh, this real quick. 30 seconds left. Give me a moment. I need to set back up. So... On the buy phase, you'll have the, uh, the blue barrier right the here. So, we can do is before on the buy phase, you get the trees and say it's red. But if you jump up, oh, this is a nice spot. You'll—I don't know why it says red, but you can see all the way into heaven, and you can actually hit people from all the way. Let me just end this right here. Fine. So you can hit people all the way over to he heaven, and you can let your teammates know. Um. That's good for pre-round because if, say, if your team is already pushing the side, they're at the kill right here. They're trying to make a push on it, then you already well know there's one heaven, and they're just going to pre-fire it. Um, and with that being said, I mean, that's pretty much it for offensive camera spots and trip wire spots. For a trip uh, wire spots, I'll just put put one right there and one. Right there. Uh, a shorts usually where they push up. Bombs usually will be down. Um, if you're on defense on A, this is one thing I forgot to cover. Uh, defense on A. What we want to do is get right here uh, and jump onto these boxes. Okay, we got it. Alright, so all you want to do is either place it on. 
this is going to uh, show you a long it's going to be the, the main idea uh, if they're pushing a long or you can place it over here as gives you clear view of people pushing heaven or that little alleyway right there so I mean it's all what you can do on defense on a but other than that guys uh if you like this video then leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe button um i'm gonna make an probably another video tomorrow and have it uploaded by two days from now um if you want to go all like over certain characters abilities of how you should use them and when and where you should use abilities uh, just leave it down in the comments of which character you want to see. Uh, for right now, though, I only use, only use Cypher. Uh, I know there's many new maps and new spots. Um, but Haven is kind of tricky for Cypher. Other than, other than that, guys, uh, peace.